Do I not have any paper? Really? That's all I got? It's like one sheet. Hey hello everybody, my name is Cool Blue and I'm bringing you guys this video. This is gonna be um this is gonna be a video of me challenging myself to make a uh, video in 90 minutes. So basically I have 90 minutes on the clock, I gotta go ahead and do the whole entire storyboarding and planning out, and then I'll use some dice to randomize the whole entire scenario, and then I gotta go ahead and do the set up the scene, I gotta record the shots, I gotta record the audio, I gotta put it all together, and I got 90 minutes to do it all. Um, it sounds difficult because it probably is. It's gonna be a video of me doing that in the whole entire experience and then I'll of course pause in between each part and then tell you guys how I felt about things. Um, it's not a whole continuous 90 minutes because I think I might have died if I would have done that. But outside of that, I mean, enough of me rambling, we can go ahead and just start with the video because it is gonna be a relatively speaking lengthy video. But if you guys wanna skip all of it to the animation that I made, I did post a separate video of the animation itself, just purely the animation and then some, like, some extra stuff at the end. You don't have to click on the extra stuff either. Uh, but just the animation, so you click on that, I'll post that on the screen somewhere um, no spoilers so it'll be just like a little thing that you click on and of course if you wait to the end of this video you'll see the whole entire animation that I made and we will see um, see if it was all worth it so I hope you guys enjoy this I hope you I really do hope you guys enjoy this because this is a lot of work and uh, that's it all right so to go over the gear list um, I will be recording everything with my nice awesome Canon camera because I knew I need to get good at using that um, and as far as the equipment I allow myself to use, it would be, of course, the Canon camera, my mini tripod, the stabilizer rig that I built myself, and various lenses, um, not really much else in there, except for just some lenses. Uh, whiteboard, I'll be using that to plan out my time initially, and maybe scribble some thoughts as I'm going along. Uh, of course, the story cues, which are going to be the center of the story, they're going to tell me exactly what my story is supposed to be about, and how to go about my story. Um, and after I make my story, I'll have these resources over here to use, uh, light included, which would be just uh, some random play toy sets, a lot of a lot of a lot of army men and some dinosaurs and spiders, and uh, my laptop, of course, and the dice. That's going to determine how many characters I have, and my writing my writing materials. So it's going to be the gist of what I'm going to have to use uh, to make the video in 90 minutes. And the last set of stuff that I have uh, will be just what, my, what I'm going to be using for um, recording this, which is recording most of it. I'm not going to record everything. Uh, but this is going to be just my tripod. I'm not going to be able to, allowed to use it. Get some light in here. Hold on. Yeah, it'll be my nice, nicer tripod, which I'm not going to be allowed to use. It's going to be used for this camera. I'm going to be using my cell phone for a timer, using the suction, suction cup uh, tripod mount or suction, suction cup mount uh, so I can mount my camera on the nice little glass there if I need to. And of course I'll be using this which is what I'm using to record all of this right now. Which this is my uh, other stabilizer, so I have two stabilizers. I built both of them thanks to the Frugal Filmmaker. If you guys want to know how to build that go check him out, he makes awesome videos. Uh, if you guys want to know more about this I'll let you guys know later. Anyway. All right, and of course, and of course, my uh, voice recorder, which I'll be using to record uh, most of the audio that I can think of. So yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, outside of that, I have 90 minutes to plan, shoot, and edit the video. As far as rendering, rendering, uh, that's not going to count uh, towards my final time because it's going to be nearly impossible to get all that fit in, at least at my skill level. But I have this equipment. I have these rules, and I have those materials. I think I got this. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into uh, the next shot of me actually doing this. Okay, all right. So in order to help myself out a little bit, I decided I would allow myself to write out how I'm gonna split things up. Um, so as far as the things that I need to do, I know I have 90 minutes to do all this. So 90 minutes, let me get some way. All right, I got 90 minutes to do all this, so I know I have uh, 90 minutes total. So I think at this point I'll probably spend maybe 10 minutes. Or if it, actually, oh, the main story is actually the uh, the story and script are the most important things in this, since visuals aren't really all that important. So I'll probably spend maybe 20 minutes, 20 minutes planning out everything after I get the dice and sort them out. So 20 minutes. So it gives me what 70 minutes left. Uh, and I guess the next 
20. Oh, this is the um, one of the planning out dialogue. And if you might wonder how good I am at spelling, you can see right there I'm not that good at spelling, so uh, that's just not my focus here. Um, so 20 minutes planning. Okay, I'll, I'll correct this since I know it. Planning. I think I was right. Uh, planning dialogue. Um, then. Actually, that's not 20 minutes planning dialogue. It should be 20 minutes planning story. Yeah, it shouldn't take me long. I mean, the story cubes are going to tell me exactly what story to put in here, so I guess I guess I don't really need to plan story. So yeah, 20 minutes are dialogue. Creation. All right, so 20 minutes doing that. Then I'll probably spend another uh, 30 minutes. That's 30 minutes. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I can. I can afford to spend 30 minutes storyboarding. Uh, let's let's do 20. Let's do another 20 minutes storyboarding. Because I I, I want to make sure I have at least at least an hour. Okay, so that's 10 minutes. I want to make sure I have at least an hour to do everything else. Because because I know as far as recording dialogue and actually yeah recording dialogue and actually doing the whole entire uh, editing is going to be the most work. So I got 60 minutes left. All right, so I'll probably spend hmm, let's do 20 minutes. Let's do 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah, let's just split that in half. 20 to 30 minutes. Since I, don't have, I don't have to worry about rendering. Uh, 20 to 30 minutes recording. Oh wait, no, hold on. Ah, oh, I gotta shoot too. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, okay. Storyboarding. That's too much time. Let's let's do five minutes storyboarding. Yeah. Ah, mm. oh, this is so difficult. Okay. Okay, I lied. I lied. I will. I will spend 20 minutes storyboarding, and 20 minutes storyboarding will also be setting up everything. So it's 40 minutes between these two. It's going to leave me with 50 minutes instead. And then I'll give myself uh, 20 minutes uh, dialogue recording. I keep forgetting the shoot part. Darn it! <laughs> 20 minutes of shooting. 20 minutes of shooting. Oh jeez, I'm not going to have any time left. I got 30 minutes to do all this. Uh, okay, storyboarding way too long. I, I feel if I spend that much time doing the dialogue and doing the script, uh, storyboarding should be a breeze since I already have, I'll have an idea. I'll have an idea of how I want to map it out. So let's do 10 minutes storyboarding and that'll leave me with 60 minutes here. And then 20 minutes to shoot, so I have to set up, shoot, and do all the camera angles and all the fancy things I want to do for 20 minutes. Got that. And that'll leave me 40 minutes here. So I can spend... Uh, what's that? Is that 50? Yeah. I can spend 20 minutes doing voices. And then I'll spend 20 minutes editing. And then we'll see what happens. Um, I think that's a good timeline. Uh, that's what? That's tw two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 90 minutes. All 90 minutes allocated. And hopefully I have, I, mean, I don't have any flexibility, so hopefully this doesn't turn out too bad. So there we have it, guys. I'll be doing uh, dialogue creation for 20 minutes because it's the most important thing is to make sure you have the story right. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and do the storyboard for 10 minutes. And then afterwards I'll, do, I'll shoot for 20 minutes. So I'll spend 20, 20 minutes uh, recording and stuff, and then I'll spend 20 minutes doing the voiceovers, uh, which I probably won't need all that time, which is good, because then I can use all the extra time in editing the shots. Okay, so I think that's a good timeline. We'll go ahead and stick with that. So that's the final timeline. And I hope you guys can read that. I don't, I don't know how well you can read that. I can't actually see the camera right now, because I'm at a bad angle. But it's a 20 minutes dialogue, 10 minutes storyboard, 20 minutes shooting, 20 minutes doing voice, uh, voiceovers and stuff, and then 20 minutes editing the shots and audio together. And hope that I have a good video that comes out. So I'll just toss this to the side, and now we need to roll the story cubes. So I haven't decided on how I'm gonna, which cubes I'm gonna roll. Um, I figure I need to roll maybe three, three of the story. So I'll make it too terribly long, and I'm actually missing a cube. Uh oh, oh, there it is. Okay. I can roll three of the story ones, so let's do three of these, and then three actions, and then three voyages. So we got story cubes, uh, yeah.
Store keeps actions and voyages, so I'm not sure how well you guys can see that because I can't see the angle of the camera because I didn't set up everything like I should have, but let's not talk about that. And uh, I decided that I'll do three blacks, which is the normal story. So that's like the things that are happening in the story. That's the main plot line. We'll go with that. Uh, three actions. These are things that happen during the story that I have to interwork in there some way. And then three voyages, which are, I guess, locations that people are going to go to. Uh, sure. That sounds good to me. All right. And in order to give myself the most flexibility possible, I will choose three at random. So three dice at random. Uh, first, I gotta figure out how many characters. So this is this will allow me to know how many characters I have in the story, and I'm gonna have three characters in the story. Cool. So I'm gonna do three dice. This is three dice that I got from the black set. So I got a phone, fire, and the moon. Okay. Phone, fire, moon. Uh, for that one, next is gonna be the actions. These are some actions that have to happen in the story. And for this one, I got uh, eating, theft, and playing ball, baseball, I'm assuming. So play play ball. So eating, stealing, and playing. And the last three are going to be locations that they have to go to, or things that happen. I guess they represent locations. Actually, no, this can, this can represent my whole entire location. Alright, so it's a ray gun, a trap door, and a telescope. Okay. And I need to get my timer because my time is technically started now. Whoops, my bad. Okay, I saw that. Alright, so I got my timer. What? My phone needs to restart because it's being a jerk about it. I'll use my pebble time as my timer. So I'll use my little smartwatch here. I don't know how well you guys can see this. You probably can't see it at all, don't worry about it. But I'm setting my first timer for- wow, that's been going on forever. Alright, I'm setting my first timer for 20 minutes, because this is a part of the story creation. Or it's part of the dialogue creation. Actually, I, I didn't put this time in there at all, so yeah. Alright, that's, that's awkward. And my timer starts now. Alright, so I gotta make a dialogue. Alright, so my timer has started. I'm gonna go ahead and make the dialogue. I'm not gonna record the whole entire thing because I don't want super huge chunks of videos to work with. So you guys are gonna have to trust me when I say that I'm using all my, all my time wisely. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it there and continue working. So see you guys in 20 minutes. Okay, so my first 20 minutes are over for dialogue creation. I've created the dialogue. Um, I think it's gonna be a cool story. I didn't encompass everything. I just barely got half of the stuff in there. So I have a phone involved, I have a moon, I have theft and eating, and also I have a telescope involved. I, I, I was trying to get to the other parts, but it was taking so long to write to those, so I gotta, I gotta get a little more efficient at writing. So already I pretty much failed at half of the thing I was supposed to be doing, but at the very least I have something, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to still shoot it and edit it and do a storyboard, so it's gonna be fun, and I'm gonna go ahead and jump into that now. So. Um, this is the whole entire script. If you ever want to see it, um, I'll probably post like a link to like just the text written out as crappily as it is, uh, and you'll be able to see it from there. So yeah. So now I get to start with this part where I get the storyboard. I think I'm gonna go get some paper before I go do that. All right. So storyboarding. I'm giving myself two sheets of paper to storyboard. I don't think I need to storyboard that much, and I'll just draw small little sketches. I'm not gonna do anything too terribly fancy. Um, but I have to consider my materials. I know my characters. I'm going to go ahead and do some simultaneous stuff on the other side over there and also come back over here. So you'll probably see me run back and forth. But actually, no, you won't see me run back and forth. I'll be setting that up. So, yeah. So the story cubes are all done. I have my story as much written as it's going to get written in 20 minutes. And I have 10 minutes of storyboard. Oh, crap. Okay. Whoops. I thought I gave myself more time. Man, this time budgeting thing is difficult. Anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and spend my 10 minutes storyboarding and then I'll go ahead and try to shoot the best I can and then I'll do the voice and then we'll do editing. And Do, do I, have all, I have all my time out there? Jesus, that's not a lot of time. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video there and I'll jump to the next part after I finish my storyboarding. I'll let you guys take a look at it and then we'll go into um, the shooting part. So, yep, let's go ahead and get started with this part. 
Okay, so I finished um, doing my storyboard, and I got I managed to get everything that I, I was able to write down in the storyboard, surprisingly, um, given how fa or how detailed this is. Look how detailed that is. You guys probably can't even see that. Uh, don't worry, I'll put like a final copy on the screen so you guys can take a look at it later. Um, but basically, I got everything I needed in the storyline. It's going to go from pretty much comic book style left to right, and uh, it's not going to be like the most amazing thing in the world, given that this is one of my first endeavors, and I'm not really sure how it's going to work out, but... I, I think I can. I, I think I can do everything. I think I managed to get everything that I had in the script storyboarded, and uh, I should be able to take the shots and then do the recording, and it should be smooth. Uh, Twenty minutes for voice recording is probably going to be needed because I only have to do three different voices because of three different characters. Two of them are being girls because I thought that was a good idea for some reason. I forgot that I'm the only voice actor here right now, so. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the table cleared off of all this stuff. Uh, you guys can feel free to comment on the storyboard and let me know what you guys think. And we'll see how this turns out. Um, I, I think it'll be an interesting story for what it is, for the time that I had to do it. Uh, 90 minutes to shoot a whole entire scene. That is actually a lot of uh, a lot of work. I'm, I'm learning that really fast. It's a lot of work, especially with three characters. It'll be ridiculous if I got more than three. So I'm going to go ahead, like I said, clear off the table so I can have all the space that I need. Set the tripod up somewhere else for the camera that you guys are looking through. And um, we'll go ahead and get started with me doing the uh, with me doing the shoot. Okay, so I got most of the stuff set up here. Um, I'm, I'm, I try to get as much useful information as possible inside the. Uh, camera so you guys can see it. I, I am going to go ahead and do a time lapse of this part, um, but I'm trying to give myself, like I said, as much usable space so you guys can see everything that's going to be on the table and as I go along, um, I decided I'm going to be using the 35mm uh, lens, or sorry, 24mm lens on my Canon, uh, Canon T6S. And I'm also going to be using a 50 millimeter lens. Uh, the only reason for that is because they let in the most light, and I only have three lenses total. Three lenses total, so uh, they let in the most light, and that will be useful in this situation, especially since I don't have to get too terribly close. I mean, all my subjects are going to be pretty much in front of me anyway. So, I, like, if I can do close ins or close ups, just by getting a little bit closer, you know, it won't be that hard. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be the entire set. Um, I have all the props and stuff back there. Unfortunately, I didn't plan it out too well because I don't actually have enough time to like, you know, go through and figure out which ones I want to use, so I can't be too picky. Um, but I am going to use uh, one of the sets that I bought. Um, actually, I can show you guys some of the things I'm going to use since I'm going to bring them out anyway. It's not cheating, I promise. The timer has not started though, and also I have not restarted recording. I'm just going to bring out everything I'm going to use. And you guys are going to laugh a little bit when you see some of the stuff. But I'm going to be using these three, um, or sorry, these two things primarily because my story only went that far. So I have the 120 set of, or sorry, 120 piece set army play set from Walmart. Uh, I pay like, I don't know, I forgot, I think 14 bucks for that, or 8 bucks. I don't remember how much I paid for that. It was worth it though, because it was like some nice quality army men for this project, because I knew I was going to be doing this. And I also bought this from uh, Ollie's. If you guys don't know what Ollie's is, it's just basically like a cheaper version of Walmart, kind of. They kind of have like some of the most random stuff there ever. But I bought this for 10 bucks, and I figured that after I finish all this, I can give it to my nephew, or I can just keep myself and do more of these, because this is kind of fun. Uh, so I'm going to use this as one of the sets uh, in the thing. So I'm going to use these two primarily, so I'm probably not going to... Actually, no, I need to get some other things from back there. But I'm not... I mean, you know, kind of already you know, bending the rules a little bit by bringing this out already. So I'm going to go ahead and get the timer started and catch my breath and then we'll go ahead and uh, get ready. Get ready to have ourselves some fun watching me make this video. So let me go ahead and get my timer started and let me stop through voice recording and we'll start. Okay, so instead of just giving you guys silence, I decided to go ahead and just do a voiceover. So I gave myself about 20 minutes to do this whole entire thing, and I talk about this a little bit later, but I spent five of those minutes trying to sort out the uh, army men uh, that I have for the different characters and stuff, so uh, I'm going to add myself five minutes to this. Uh, but throughout this whole entire thing, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think through a, a few things, but I was able to get, I was able to get surprisingly a lot done. Um, I was able to get my scene set up, uh, just some random rocks, some random animals, and I, I think I left the spider there. I don't know if I kept the spider there or not. Um, but just like the barn in the background, the gate and the trees and the rocks, um, those are just all random things that I added into it. Um, just for scenery. And uh, the funny thing about it is like when you watch the video, uh, whenever you watch the final clip, I didn't really need to do all that. Uh, also you see here, I'm just like marking down on top of the storyboard. Um, I forgot to to establish all the characters, what color they're gonna be. So I decided to just take a quick 
color and just say, all right, all right, this person's red, this person's green, this person's yellow. So that will help me easier go through and uh, establish which character's which, who I need to pose where, and who's involved. So I keep track of everything, you know? And uh, if you paid attention to the storyboard when I showed that on the screen, you'll notice that it has those markings already on it. Um, I didn't make those ahead of time. So anytime you're trying to do a storyboard, this is what I recommend to anybody. Uh, if you have different characters, go ahead and just color code them so it just makes your job easier. I'm not a professional or anything. It's just something I learned by doing, and it turned out to be very helpful. Um, so here I am just shooting everything through. Um, I think I'd stuck most of the time. I stuck with the uh, 50 millimeter, uh, 50 millimeter lens, which on a, which on this camera was 80-ish uh, millimeter, because um, you know the crop factor 1.6. Um, so that, that gave me some nice shots. Uh, I was able to get some nice blurred in the background, despite the fact that everything is so tiny. Uh, and I was able to get most of the poses. And I'll talk about a few of the issues that came through. Oh, my camera died too, so I had to reposition and all that stuff. And uh, looks like time's up, so I'm gonna go ahead and let myself take it over. Okay, so I'm done recording. Um, I I don't know what to say. Uh, so three different things happened. The first thing I didn't have time. I didn't really plan time to set up the scene. So I didn't think that through. Uh, the second, or also I didn't think through the fact that there's a table here, so it's going to be hard for me to get close-ups on some of the things without doing a zoom lens, which I was trying to resist the urge to do. I almost did it, but I decided to stay with the 30 millimeter, or sorry, 24 millimeter lens I had and the 50 millimeter lens I had, which on a crop sensor is going to be like 80 millimeters for the 50 millimeter, and then like 35-ish millimeters for the 24 millimeter. So it's like you know wide angle and then kind of short telephoto lens. Alright, uh, short telephone stuff, not stuff you need to worry about, but um, I tried to, I tried to like get some close-ups, and it was really difficult getting close-ups because, you know, this whole edge of the table thing, and then the stabilizer rig itself was actually kind of huge uh, relative to like the camera, so I was trying to like get a close-up, and I was like, oh crap, wait, I can't, I can't. I can't get past the thing. So that kept happening. You guys probably saw a lot of that happen during the whole entire video. Uh, also, the second thing that happened was that my camera died. Uh, this camera died, the one I'm recording on. So you guys are going to see like a gap between time. And the third thing that happened was I didn't sort the uh, little characters that I was using. So I gave myself five more minutes to do the whole entire thing. But even then, I still didn't have enough time. Um, I did say I was going to have three different characters. I had an idea. The idea was um, I had a set of, uh, set of army men. There were different colors and they had different poses, so I was using one color to represent one character and different poses to represent different things they're doing, uh, which is like, you know, in the short run, I guess it's a good idea, but this is more so for storyboarding as opposed to an actual video that you're going to make. So there's probably going to be a lot of jump cuts in the video that I'm going to make. Sorry, heads up. Uh, it's only one person that's me doing all the stuff. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't let myself use a tripod. I could use a mini tripod, but I felt like that would be too much to set up. But it actually would have been a lot better if I would have done that. Instead of sticking with the stabilizer rig, but... Stuck to my guns and here I am. So I am now at the end of the shooting phase. I didn't shoot all of the scenes, which is unfortunate, or shoot out. I didn't get all the shots, which is unfortunate. So this is not going to be a completed scene. I also didn't finish all of the scene in the first place, so it's going to be not a complete story. Um, so I guess we go now into the voice editing, which will be fun. So I will do the voice editing and then I'll edit all the shots and then we'll see how. Uh, We'll see how it goes. So, see you guys on the other side. All right, so here I am about to record the video audio. Um, this is, or, sorry, the, the character audio. Um, I was gonna record the, the lines, the dialogue, I guess. So I'm just recording the dialogue. Um, I took the time to go ahead and set my computer up and get myself some pretzels, because you know I need those to draw my voice out before I do my voicing, my voice acting. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and read through everything. Um, I did already record the first one, I almost forgot to start recording. Um, by the way, this is the third battery. I'm on my last battery on my other camera, so I'm not going to be able to record the whole entire thing for a time lapse. Sorry guys, I can't do it, uh, because I need to make sure I can record at least the reaction or my, my responses and start and ends on these things. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video there, and I'm going to start doing the voice recording. Of course, I have 20 minutes of things I wrote down. Uh, 20 minutes to do voice, to do the voicing, and then 20 minutes to do the editing. Uh, if I do get extra time, or if I do finish early, what I'll do is I'll just go back and say, hey, I finished early, and I'll add that time to my video editing time, and we'll go for it. So we'll go ahead and start. And the timer is going to go ahead and start in right about now. All right, so here we are. We're off to do the thing. I'm going to cut the camera off. Alright guys, I am back. I finished recording all the audio. Um, I went over time by like five minutes, so that means 
that I have 20, 15 minutes, sorry, 15 minutes to actually do the editing. So I got 15 minutes to bring the video in and do all the editing. I'm gonna go ahead and then like put all the video on my computer first and then uh, load all the resources so I can give myself the most advantage possible because otherwise you're not gonna see a full clip. You're just gonna see some random stuff. Um, but it shouldn't be too much to edit. So hopefully this goes through smoothly. But you know, I've been saying about everything. Like the, the voice acting I was expecting to take this long. Uh, the staging and everything I was expecting to take that long. But it feels like my, my estimations were close to just 90 minutes is a ridiculously short amount of time to do all this. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go into the editing. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just pull everything into the computer from the SD card, and then we're gonna start editing. So, ready to see how this turns out. Okay, so I finished. I finished editing all I could, and um, I will go ahead and admit that I did cheat a little bit. Um, I, I I was almost there with the finished edit but like I had to do the audio first and then I was trying to edit the video and I can not even match up so timer went off and like I legit went over like a 30 minutes so it basically took me two hours to make this whole entire thing um I don't know I don't know how to feel about this because like, like I feel like I was making something really cool but the time limit crushed it you know it's just like I feel, I feel like like I'm, I'm looking back and watching this thing that I made in two hours I'm like oh my gosh it's so cool I want to see what's next I want to see what happens next and then it, it's like oh right yeah no took too long <laughs> so two hours it took me two hours to make a video that lasts a whole entire 43 seconds so for anybody out there who does video editing or animation, anything like that, film directing, whatever you call it, props off to you. I had respect for you before, I have more respect now. Uh, for anybody out there who thinks video editing is a super simple, easy thing to do, especially when you have to have your actors, your own script, and then uh, have to like you know cast and do recording and do shooting and all that stuff, no, no. No, it's not that easy. It's not as easy as people think. I mean, two hours for 43 seconds, basically. <laughs> And it's probably not the best 43 seconds I've ever seen because, you know, it's like some of it's blurry, but I'm not going to talk about that too much anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all this there. I'm going to go ahead and play the final video at the end of this. Uh, I'll also post the final video by itself if anybody wants to go watch it. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to go get ready to clip this whole entire thing together, this whole entire experiment together so we can actually watch it all in one piece. And uh, that'll be it. So hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you guys whenever. Sarah? You looking through that dumb telescope again? No, Clyde. I'm setting an example of how not to be a convict. Hey, that's ex-convict to you, Missy. And at least I managed to do something with myself. Oh, right. I forgot. You're the one who owns a restaurant and hired me because no one else would. Aw, oh, come on. Not this crap again. Look, I can work anywhere I want because I have exceptional social skills. I just choose not to use them as all. How exactly are we related again? Ah, oh, great. You two at it again? She started it. No, I didn't. Clipto face here started it. Did not. Did too. Enough. Jeez. It's almost like you two never grew up. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, Clyde, your phone was ringing.